Dear students, as you can see, this is the syllabus for MA and uh, this is your Master of Arts English paper. This is semester 1, English core paper, middle literature and uh, as I am taking this unit 4, okay, you can see that. So this letter of Abelard and Alios were already completed now. Andreas Capilanus de Amor, The Art of Courtly Love, Columbia University Press. So, uh, if you could see the reference books here, suggested readings are there. So, what I am trying to do today is uh, this C. Bat, Mallory's Mortar de Arthur, a remaking Arthurian tradition, Palgrave Macmillan 2016. This is what we are going to study today. And uh, I was trying to find out this book. Uh, initially, I thought uh, I won't be able to get it, but when I tried and uh, I tried, and then I have got wonderful links for this. So, if you see, this is what a book I got and uh, this is, uh, I'm so happy to share with you that this is from Library of California and this is the same text which we, uh, it is prescribed for us. This is Lee uh, Morty Darthur and uh, this is Macmillan, okay, and uh, that's the, with an introduction, Sir Edward uh, Starchy. Edited with an introduction, and this is what Sir Thomas Mallory's book of King Arthur and of King no uh, of his noble knights of the Round Table. <coughs> so this this one of this book we will discuss, right? And uh, apart from that, if you see, this is another book which I have got for you, that is Lee Morty D Arthur by Sir Thomas Mallory. So, uh, in this book also you will find that all these, uh, I mean, you know that the content, if you see book one is there, right? This is what book one is there and just a minute. Here first, let me make it little bigger and then if I say what is this layout is this continuous scrolling is on then. If I say okay here we can see this uh, right so this this you see this okay let me just take out this no uh, this is not working so if I say this way I guess we can Okay, can we make this color green? But I think I need to. What is this? Okay, this is not working. I guess yellow color is better. This color is better. And I guess this will work so okay I can just draw this line so book one is here and then in this book one there are many many chapters okay almost 30 uh, six, 26 chapters are there then this is book two right so just for the reference I'm telling you today and this is book three and I'll just read out certain titles also then book four okay so book five actually what i'm trying to say you is if these are simple introductory things so at least it will give you an idea what is this there right and then uh, number of books are there then this is book seven then this is book nine so uh, it is book nine and somewhere it will be book eight I guess we missed book 8 okay book 8 is there and then book 9 is there so before that I think it was book 7 okay maybe we missed book 7 book 7 is there so in this way this is going uh, with the reference and then this is book uh, 10 and then uh, that's what this is book 11 uh, so the, 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 this this is too detailed then it is 14 so uh, 
I think that this is then 15 then 16 okay so then 17 okay then 18 18 and then it is 19 okay this is book 20 okay mm. just for the introduction I'm just giving you you can see it and, and a quick recap you can just see what is happening so this is what then acknowledgement we will read and these are the a biblical uh, bibliographical notes I mean actually if you are reading these small things and if you are trying to understand at least we'll be able to know what is there that's what it, it's because it's an introductory class online and uh, I'm just trying to give you a brief note so this is volume one okay then how uh, Uthain Pen Dragon sent for the Duke of Cornwall and Igraine's Ingr his wife, wife of the departure, suddenly. Right then, this is. Uh, so we'll just uh, see. So many chapters are there because if you see from here, we are just here, and it's uh, if I just say how many pages are there? Oh God, 661 then oh gosh 664 total number of pages are uh, 769 so that's what and we'll just try to do something little significant which you can actually go so these are the reference material i'm just trying to give you and here also we found something towards material history of the medieval mediterranean sharon kino uh, kino shita Okay, and then uh, it is uh, religious as the French book uh, saith, uh, Melors, Martyr, Morty, Darthur, uh, an act of reading. So uh, that's what. And then this is one of the project actually. Once the once and future childish slayer, Gay, Gavi, Gabriel Key, inventor Mallory, Mallory's Ma Morty. Morty Darthur. Actually, this is a simple introduction I'm trying to give you. And if you come here, these are this is a book actually. So, Melody is Morty Darthur, and uh, it is uh, you know remaking Arthurian tradition, New Middle Ages. See the text, the paper uh, back is also 5755. So, it is too costly. And uh, apart from this, these are the links which I was sharing with you. So these are the links which I got and uh, this is the same book I was sharing with you right so here also directly we can go to the chapters and preface of uh, William Caxton here you can straightforward go so I'll just try to give you you know brief notes at least so we can understand what is there and this is what I downloaded these are the things which just for the sake of understanding I'm just trying to give you right so you just get it and have a view and then i'll just give you uh, at least as sufficient material which you can uh, prepare for your this is the same book you know this is the same book uh, the sir thomas mallory and uh, it is gutenberg.org and i think it is here uh, same is here it's here gutenberg.org this is the same but it is in a uh, I mean, a lot of links are there. Gutenberg, it's a you know, Gutenberg project is there, Lee Mortar, Volume 1. And this is how, this is book which I wanted to read for you. So, we'll just do, at least, uh, if nothing more than we can go for the introduction and all. So, that's what I was just trying to give you. And this is what I have made a PPT for you. So, that I'll share. It's a very wonderful PPT. And uh, that I'll share in my uh, next video. Because there's a number of things which we have actually done. Okay, so if you just uh, see this, this this is how it will go on. This is how I'll just share uh, everything related to this material. So it, these are the simple uh, fundamental things I have uh, made for you. And uh, you will be able to understand what we have to study. So these are the things which... And uh, now let's start with the... Uh, okay here and uh, 
the best thing I was able to understand was this. I wanted to read that is this book. Okay, so let's come because this is from California University. We are fortunate enough to get it, and let me just read out what is there. And I have already given you what is there. Our syllabus is Andreas Capilanus, the Amo, the Art of Courtly Love, Columbia University Press, and this is the text which is being uh, suggested reading. It comes under suggested reading. So see bat. Uh, melodies, uh, Morty D. Arthur, remaking Arthurian tradition. What is there in Arthurian tradition that we'll try to study? So let me just come. What is there? This story, you know, as if uh, you know. Let us presume that we don't know. E neither you know nor me. So leave Morty D. Arthur. Okay. And this is from Macmillan Publication. And uh, yeah, this is Sir Edward. Uh, Starchy part. Okay, introduction with this. <coughs> Fra uh, Francis Starchy, her father inscribed this book, introduction to which could not have been uh, no rewriter without her help. Okay, so let's come. Digitized by the Internet Archive 2008 with the funding of Microsoft Corporation. Okay, now introduction. So, what is there then in this Arthurian tradition? What is there in Arthurian tradition? Okay. I'll just read out few uh, things because uh, then only we can go for this. Okay. So, it's very interesting to see how many pages are there. Let me just find out where I'll finish. Okay. Because in this one video, we are not going to complete everything. I will be very uh, limited also. And uh, let me just find out what we are going to read. Okay. So I think, uh, okay, here, you know, up to here we can come. Then it is the, an essay on chivalry. Okay, so let me just start from here. From the beginning we are taking, my dear, let's start. Interesting. All right. You can mention this name, Sir Edward Starchy. Okay. Edited with an introduction by... It is by Macmillan Publication. Right. Okay. The authorship and matter of the book. Origin of the book. We owe this. Okay, if I can make it a little bigger for you. Right. I think that's fine. Okay. Okay. We owe this. Our English epic of Lee. A Morty Darth to Sir Thomas Mallory and to William Caxton, the first English printer. Caxton's preface shows what indeed would have been certain for his uh, appeal uh, to the appeal to the appeal to the knights of England. Okay, at the end, the order of chivalry. How uh, how strongly William Caxton, simple person. See. William Caxton is significant because he is the first we owe this our English epic of the uh, epic of Lee Morty Darthur to Sir William Mallory and William Caxton. William Caxton is the first English printer. Remember, William Caxton is the first English printer. William Caxton is the first English printer. Okay, so Caxton prefers shows what indeed we would have certain for this appeal. To the kings of knights of England at the end of the order of chivalry that however strongly William Caxton simple person may have been urged to undertake the work by diverse gentlemen of his realm of England he was not less moved by his own love and reverence for the noble act of chivalry and his deep sense of duty and responsibility in printing what he believed would be 
for instruction and profit of his readers of whatever state or degree but sir thomas mallory he gives all the honor of having provided him with the copy which he printed and ever since for more than 400 years suggestive generations have approved uh, the fitness of kexton choice for it is mallory's book and not the older form of king arthur king arthur story will will a uh, read for enjoyment and for the illustration of which scholar added uh, those earlier books only a true poem the of spring of genuine uh, genius could have so held and be still holding its ground uh, uh, age after age it may be said that it is chiefly with boys with men who have formed the taste by their boyish uh, reading that the book is so popular but it is not this so with the iliad too man of mature intellect and taste read and reread an iliad with ever new discoveries appreci- uh, appreciation and enjoyment but it may be questioned whether uh, there are many or even of any of them did not begin these studied at school and learn to love homer before they knew uh, that he was worthy of their love and they have given most of such reading in youth and in manhood to mallory's mortar darthur will be the most able and ready to recognize his claim to the character of an epic poem mallory a poet mallory wrote in prose but he had the vision and the uh, faculty divine of uh, the poet though wanting the accomplishment of words and great as the want is we may happy milton test of simple sensuous and passionate and we shall find no right to these names more real than in mallory every incident the description of every event is simple that is to say complete in itself while making a part of the whole story the story is sensuous like that of homer and as every true poem must be it is a living succession of the concrete images and picture not of ab- abstraction or generalized argument and reasoning these are the characteristics of the book from its opening story of in grain which befall in the days of uther pendragon down to the death of the last four remaining knights who went into the holy land uh, there are jesus christ was quite as quick as that and there did may battle upon the miscreant or turk and they are they died on a good friday for good sake for god's sake and for passion what emotion which poet first feels in a special manner and then awakens in his hearer though they could not have originated in themselves with the adventures of the round table and sen grid sen grid or the death of author uh guinevere and the lancelot we may compare the uh, wrath of achilles its cause and its consequences on the leave taking of hector and andromache it would indeed be hard to find anywhere a pathos greater than that of mallory's description of the death or passing of arthur the pentine penitence of guinevere and her, her parting with lancelot or the lament of lancelot over the king and queen and sir ector over lancelot himself the first is too long to quote but i may say that mallory has recast the old story and all poet is poetry is his own i gave the two last i give the two li- two last truly said sir lancelot i trust i do not displease god for he know or uh, knows my intent for men Okay, so uh, okay. Truly said, Sir Lancelot, I trust I do not displease God, for He knows mine uh, intent. For my my sorrow was not, nor is it for any rejoicing of sin. But my sorrow may never have end. For when I remember of her beauty and of her nobleness, that was both with King, uh, uh, King and with her. So when I saw his a uh, corpse and her corpse so lie together truly my heart would not screw to sustain my uh, care for body also when i remember me how my how by my default my orgul and my pride that they were both laid full uh, low that were peerless that ever was living of christian people now which you well said sir lancelot this remember of their kindness and mine unkindness sank to my heart that i might not sustain myself and again ah lancelot he said the wear head of all christian knights and how i dare say said Le- sir actor uh, thou lancelot uh, there thou liest 
that thou were never met met head of early knights hand and thou were the courteous knight that uh, that that ever had bear shield and thou were the truest friend to thy love that ever bestowed hers and thou were the truest lover of a sinful man that ever loved woman and thou were the kindest man that ever stay stake stake with sword and thou were the gold good goodliest person ever come among press of knights and thou were the meekest man and gentle gentlest that ever ate in hall mm, among ladies and thou were the sternest knight to thy mortal foe that ever put spare in uh, rest a brave soldier never couched lance a gentle heart did never sway in court first part of henry 6 uh, the former passage is all mallory's own the beauty of the letter is enhanced if we set by its side the old version which he follows alas boys that i was born that ever i should see this indeed the best night his life hath lorn that ever in store uh, bestrod st jesus jesu that crowd with his throne in heaven his soul foster and feed humor is take a uh, humor is akin to passion and it may not be out of place to notice here mallory's vein of humor as show of instance in the way in which he tells the adventure of lark ut meli tale and of abu mains the pranks of the brave knights with uh, dai dinadan and degonet the story of arthur's wedding feast when a lady who cried and made great doll was fierce force forcibly carried out of the hall by the strange knights and arthur was glad for she made such a noise and was there and upon rebuked by merlin for thinking so highly of his loyal and knightly duties or that of the usurper mod uh, mo modred and bishop of canterbury when after each had defied the other the bishop did the curse in the most uh, or orgulous wise that might be done and then retired to live poverty and holy prayers for well understood that mischievous the book epic in a plan in drama the action is present actually unwinding itself with going uh, on behalf of ours the epic is the story of the past a cycle of events completed while the one and the other may be traced a thresh of destiny and providence leading either to a happy triumph over circumstances or to tragic doom which to in the end triumph also thomas uh, huges the early elizabethan dramatist in his misfortune of author concentrates concentrated and depend the horror of the such tragedy by transforming the guilt of lancelot to murdered mordred the son of arthur and his unknown sister he would better have recognized and follow the finer art of mallory for though the motive of mallory's epic is less gross and exaggerated than of the huges drama the thread of the guilt and doom with runs first for Uh, to last through the former is not less real than in later the crime of uh, uther pendragon uh, with which the story opens lead to the concealment of arthur concealment of arthur a uh, percentage for himself and is to elicit love for her own uh, whom he does not know to be his sister and uh, and so to the birth of the more uh, more dread then comes the prophetic doom he then laid thing and god in this place within your sister shall have child that shall destroy you and all the knights of your realm arthur tries in vain to prevent the fulfillment of this doom by the only cruel uh, deed of his life and then after another warning of the woe which is marriage with lee uh, morty darthard edited uh, from the harleins ms the british museum by ft for nevol for nevol 18 Uh, 64 okay queen evers will bring to him uh, through her guilty love for the lancelot these germs of the tragic destiny remain hidden through long years of prosperity arthur aided by his fellowship of a round table reduces universal anarchy into order and not only gets into his hand all england a uh, wales and scotland but by uh, but by his match to Uh, but march to rome make him emperor and head of all the kingdom as well as all the chivalric chivalry uh, of christian dom still the fame and the honor of the king and his 
uh, nights of the round table open continuously into new brighter form uh, which seems above and reach any uh, ever's fate till coming uh, sa sang sang grial into the quest of will and nights enter with that self reliance which has become then so uh, so much a field of worldly chivalry but which would be of no avail they are now to be tried by test and then those which they had been proved early knights and lovers test which even lancelot the uh, actor d maris gui name and other chief in fellowship the quest is achieved by the holy knights alone to depart from his life to higher while sir bores not quite spotless yet forgive and sanctify the link between the earthy and the spiritual world turned to add in restoring the glory of the test and tournament of came lord and westminster but the curse is set the uh, severance between god and evil which had declared through the uh, sang a uh, sank grial cannot be closed again and tragic and scum in spite of efforts touching him their very weakness of author and lancelot to avert the woe the one by vanny when vainly trying to resist temptation the other by refusing to believe evil of his wife and his dearest friend the black cloud open for a moment as the sun goes down and we see arthur in the bars uh, which bears him to the holy island gui never the none of all all men's bury living in a fasting prayer and all uh arms deeds a lancelot which is fellow she once at night but uh, how hermit now hermit priest doing bodily all manners of service nor are the mark of the honey ha harmony and unity less pain in the several characters than in the events of the story arthur is a true knight sharing the characteristics of his noble knights yet he differs from them in showing all that he is and feel himself to be a king as when impers imperi imperiousness which remain as of the uh, froissart story of edward the refusing to listen to sir wal walter of many uh, remonstrances on behalf of the burgess of the kelia he tells sir lancelot that he is that he takes no force whom he grieves on insists entering the list against try to knight whom he is not willing to see victorious over an whole field and when he sadly regret that he can't be a uh, can do battle for his wife though he believes his innocence but most be rightful judge according to the laws there are many others of the round table who are very perfect gentle knights yet we feel that lancelot stand distinct among them in all the preeminence of his uh, knightliness not notwithstanding is one great sin thus to take one of many instances but lancelot would have borne and taunted and violence of guinea with his humble patience and ever renewed efforts for reconciliation when he was leaving and uh, okay sir thomas mallory departing from old authors okay so this is what uh, mallory's use of the old romans it has been too commonly assumed that because kexton says that sir thomas Mallory took his work out of certain book of French and reduced in England. He was mere uh, compiler and translator, but the but the book itself shows that he was in the author and Maxi would have called. Notwithstanding his occasionally in artificial manner of connecting the materials drawn from the old Romans, there in epic unity and harmony, uh, beginning the middle and uh, which of the have been a chance note of design and uh, which only befalls an uh, Homeric and Shakespeare like man. if uh, more instances and proofs are needed than have been already given let us turn to the opening chapter of the book if we compare these with the old romans with supplies and materials for them we see at once how mallory has converted prose into poetry giving life and beauty to the clothes of the earth and transmuting by his art and legends which yet faithfully preserved for the long and repulsive narratives of the merlins origin the substitutes a slight allusion to it without distinguishing what he probably believed to be at least in half historical record of author bray he gives a grace and dignity to the story and charm of the mother's character finer touch of which are wanting in general so through the whole of the part of the story 23 years ago i ventured to assert mallory's claim to epic genuine and how claim may be further tested as i think established by help of learned uh, researchers of dr a uh, somar 
of these i shall state some details in speaking of the text with several additions he had given the results so far it bears on the present point we may now see how mallory's mortar darthar was fused into actual form out of <coughs> crude materials of 10 times its bulk and then while he often translated and transcribed the french to english romans as they lay before him on the other hand uh, he not only rewrote in order to bring out in the present shape and whole story but also uh, varies both order and substance of the incidents that might give them epic character and beauty in the details which his book shows throughout mallory was no doubt uh, a finder as well as a maker but so i repeat i was shakespeare and was very every other great poet but quarry and building are not the same thing though one supplies uh, stones which with the other is raised we see that there is much uh, that is rude and in and artificial in mallory's art he has built a great rambling medieval castle and wall of which it grows ru uh, rude and even uh, re uh, a ruinous work of earlier times and not greek parthenon not even an italian palace of uh, of the renesa still it is a grand pile and tell everything of the genuine of its builder and i ask early uh, as carlele once asked me who built saint paul was it wren or the hod man who carried up the bricks but while supporting my conclusion as to mallory's art by evidence of dr somers fact it is right to add that the conclusion Uh, are my own rather than those of his learned critics his estimate of mallory genuine in choice and treatment of his materials fall uh, for short of mine i can believe that mallory's men have just rightly for own purpose and when he did not take uh, that form of legend now which was in itself the most beautiful mallory's history and geography the most recent i think you please pay attention to this mallory's history and geography the most recent critics are disposed to prefer humes and gibbons belief okay the most recent critics disposed to prefer humes and gibbons belief to milton's uh, scepticism as to the actual existence of author but upon this question uh, i do not enter i do not enter uh, mallory's historical chapter as they may be called seem to be mainly uh taken from the historia a uh, brief town of geoffrey of man uh, mouth though much of them is uh, also be found in the romans the details of the author march to the romans are so accurate that i think that mallory may have had actual knowledge of the road and which indeed uh, which indeed must have been familiar to many men soldiers priests merchants in the uh in the days of edward but of the rest of the history of the geography book before we say uh, are something apart from place withholding time but flattering the golden prime of the great hero of english romans we can bring with any limit of history and uh, which events which are succeed each other when lord and commons of england after the death of king uh, uther sent albans assemble at the a greatest church of london guided by the joint policy of the magician merlin and uh, the christian bishop of canterbury elected arthur to the throne when arthur made carlian or camelot both his headquarters in war against cornwall wales and north in which he was victorious by help of king of france when he met the demand for tribute to the roman emperor lucius uh with the, a counter claim to the empire for him as the real representative of constantine held a parliament at york to make the necessary arrangements crossed the sea from sandwich and bar fleet in, uh, in flander met the united force of the romans and sir sara sans at burgundy slew the emperor in great battle together Uh, with his allies the uh, swordan of syria the king of egypt and the king of ethiopia sent their bodies to the senate and podesta of the rome as the only tribute to the would pay and then followed over mountain through the lombardy and tuscany to rome where he was crowned emperor by pope so john uh, their time established all his lands in roman and gave lands real 
so that's how we can find out the history and this is what i'll try to give link of this book uh, in the description so you can further go and read it